do you think things would have worked if somehow in the cards you had still had Hercules Hernandez in the bodyguard role after Mid South? Oh, um, well, talent wise, Hercules. As a matter of fact, he's another guy that's not remembered enough these days. Talent wise, in the ring, look, promo. Hercules Hernandez could have been one of the biggest stars in wrestling. I've never seen a guy built like that, that could move like that, that could work as light as he could and not kill people and still take bumps like that with a Mr. Universe fucking body and had the voice to back it up and could talk enough to get by with all that. But he... I just he he always had the whole time he was in mid south and from what I understand for a good part afterwards he had stress and strife in his personal life and with the women and or just the police in Louisiana or just some he, bad luck on the road wrecking cars he always had just some drama going on in his life and I don't know if he could have ever actually got it together and and survived a huge run at the top that he was talented enough for having said that no no there's no way he should have just been my bodyguard it would have been uh, he should have been a bigger star and bubba looked the part more of you don't want to cover that body up with hercules hernandez with bubba that's the thing they want to cover his body up but he he was another huge guy but in a completely different way that looked like more like a thug you know, Hercules could be the goddamn, you know, he might have been the total package that Lex Luger should have been. You don't want to cover him up or put him in a gimmick or put him behind a manager. But with Bubba, it was perfect for him to learn and, and to be with the team and to be, you know, in, involved with the top talent, but still not have all the attention placed on him. Isn't there some story that a, a barroom brawl broke out in Mid-South? I want to say Dr. Death and Duggan may have been involved, but... That Hercules just like stood up on the bar, ripped off his shirt, and just started well, like posing in between punching people. <laughs> no, you're you're conglomerating up several stories, and Duggan <laughs> was not there. Okay, it was it was Doctor De- on that one. Uh, Duggan was known for bealing people out of the fucking bathroom into the bar at the in Alexandria where the guys used to go. I did not go there. I had people following me home, trying to follow me around the traffic circle, trying to figure out where I lived. If I just went straight home from the matches, I didn't go to any bars in Louisiana. Uh, It it was Dr. Death and Hercules Hernandez and Pee Wee Anderson, the referee Pee Wee. And there was a issue that started and I can't remember why, but the point is that there was like 10 people in the bar and Dr. Death and Hercules and Doc and Herc won the fight with Pee Wee getting up on the bar, ripping his shirt off and doing the fucking Hulk pose (laughs) while Hercules and Dr. Death beat up the rest of the bar. Wow. And, and they got an issue over that. Well, and another time I'm driving down the road, coming back from Jackson, Mississippi, and it was a very cold late fall at that point. Right. So it was like 35 degrees outside and it's a two lane road in the middle of nowhere at one o'clock in the morning on the way to Louisiana from Jackson. And I see a car on the right hand, the, the shoulder. And it's just going very slow and it's got lights on. But as I get up f- further and say, get see it a little closer, the the driver door is at a 90 degree right left angle, I guess, sticking straight out is what I'm saying. It's open and sticking straight out farther than it would normally go. And I pull up a little further and see there's Hercules and the girlfriend he had at the time that he had a lot of trouble with later on. And the three cats that lived in the back seat of their car. When they did all those trips in Louisiana, three to 4,000 miles a week. And I stopped, rolled down the window and pulled up next to him. I said, Herc, what, what happened? He said, oh, Jimmy. He said, I pulled over back there to take a piss. And when I started to get out of the car, an 18-wheeler came along and hit the door and fucking stuck it out like this. I can't get it back. And I said, my God. I said, I'm surprised it didn't kill you. He said, yeah. He said, good thing I was holding on to the door. It may have tore it off altogether. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) (laughs) So they had to drive all the way back to Alexandria, Louisiana, which was like another 120 miles with on the shoulder of the road with the door stuck out there then three cats in the back seat in 35 degree weather. So he just, he had the worst luck all the time that I knew him, but he was such a nice guy. 
And people forget, you know, they see Hercules in the WWF in the late 80s, early 90s. Watch him in Mid-South. Like you said, he was taking bumps. He was a good promo. He was he was tremendous in Mid-South. Oh, my God. He's, he's 6'3 and 275 and jacked to the gills. One of his interviews on Mid-South TV with me, honest to God, was, and I said, and what's going to happen, Duggan, when this man gets his hands on you and he hits the double bicep and he says, that's 10 Diana Ball a day, baby. He was jacked to the gills. <laughs> But and he looked like a Greek. But this was before. I mean, I was pretty sure at the time that shit probably wasn't good for you. But you know, this is 1984, fuck's sake. So nobody gave a shit. You could say that. <clears throat> but anyway, he looked like a Greek god. But he's taken big backdrops. He went up light for slams. He never hurt anybody. His shit looked good. And I've told a story before. But what the fuck? It's a brand new show. Uh, Baton Rouge one night. We're the Midnight Express is waiting to go on the next match, but the, the previous matches, it was, but he was aligned with Butch Reed at that point. Herc was, and Butch is working. And Herc goes to do the run in and the finish. And this guy from the third row of ringside, when Herc ran by, jumped out and grabbed him around the waist and just kind of tackled him, right? Hercules never stopped running. He grabbed the guy and just flipped him off with one arm, got in the ring and did the finish. The cops grabbed the guy that he flipped off and brought him back to the entrance way to the locker room and they're good. They've got him sitting in a chair there and there's cops standing there next to him. They're going to take this motherfucker in. Well, it, Darso, Barry Darso, crush Khrushchev walks over and just looks at the guy and says, you know, I would hit you, but I can't hit you anywhere near as hard as he can when he comes back here and he just walked away from him. So the guy's sitting there like, what the fuck? When Hercules comes back, he hits those doors to Baton Rouge Centriplex. It looked like goddamn Marshall Dillon coming into the fucking Long Branch. Where's Kitty, right? He sees this guy. The guy stands up to start to, like, quiver and apologize. And Hercules slapped him with his open right hand right up under this guy's jawbone. It sounded like a rifle shot. The guy's feet left the ground. His head flew into a concrete block wall that was situated about two and a half feet behind him. And he dropped to the ground right in front of the fucking doorway into the arena. It, it looked like fucking Peter Griffin and family guy when he falls down the stairs, just all crumpled. Ah, Jesus fucking crap. And then walked off and just went back in the locker room. Right. And so now they're ringing the bell for our match. And we on and the cops standing there and looked at and watched at him and watched him walk off. Right. We have to literally step over this motherfucker's crumpled body to go out the locker room door to go out to the arena for our match. We work 15 minutes. We come back. And they've got the guy still unconscious, but at least they've drug him out of the doorway. And I hear a siren coming. They've called an ambulance for him because after 15 minutes, he was still unconscious from being slapped into a fucking brick wall. <laughs> and so I go up to Hercules. I said, I, 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 I said, I, obviously you were mad. I said, but why did you slap? Just slap it. I mean, I would have punched the guy, right? Why did you just slap him? He said, oh, Jimmy, you can, you can hurt somebody if you hit him with your close fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, yeah, I, I think Hercules uh, should have been a, a much bigger talent than he got a chance to be.